Hey guys, Chubbs Gamester here with another episode of Super Mario World GBA Edition. In the last episode, we took on the Forest of Illusion, defeated Roy, um, some other Chuckle Island let stages, and we got the secret exit at this stage. In this episode, I'm going to be telling you more about this stage and um, basically go through it this time properly with you. Basically, the the air, every area is now defend, depending on what you collect. So, area two, you still get Koopas in the last stage. This oh, this was actually depending on the fact that I did not collect hardly any coins in this area. It doesn't count for the coins you already have. If you collect, if you collect zero to eight, you get the Koopas. If you collect nine to twenty coins in this area you get a different variation of where you get Rex and stuff and then 21 or more depending on uh, for area 2 will depend on your flying skills with the cape I don't trust my flying skills so I'm going to get 9 10 coins area 3 will depend on how much you have in the clock um, Obviously, two, for Area 3, if you have 250 seconds or more, you will get the Charging Chucks and the Secret Exit. You will get um, a area of Dino Rhinos between 249 seconds and less on your clock. And if you have 234 seconds or less on your clock, you will get an area of Bubbles where there are Super Mushrooms, blah, blah, blah. Area 4 is then also depending on how many Dragon Coins you have collected. If you have three or less dragon coins collected, um, you will get many bottomless pits, which Mario must use springboards to jump across. And if you have four or more dragon coins collected, you will get grassy platform. You'll get a grassy area with rotating blocks, so on and so forth. Area 4 is the ones with the normal exit, they're the one that we want this time. I hope that was enough information to take in, so just let us get on with the gameplay, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to be collecting... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 coins. Another 6, there we go, 6. So we have 6 coins. I want to change area 2 to show you. Uh, is there any coins over here? No. 6. 7. Dragon coins do count as a coin as well. So 7 coins we have collected. Yoshi. 8. 9, 10. I know there's some more coins we could collect around there, but... Yeah. See, it's now changed. We have the Rexes. And it's also going to depend on how much we got. We've got less on that clock. So we're going to get um, something else. I believe. It's the Super Mushroom thing. So. Very nice, the, the Super Mushrooms is it's kind of useful. Okay, so we got three, so ah, oh, springboards. Spring that, that wasn't that actually that difficult. So very nice, we finished that. Uh, basically, so that just clarifies what I was trying to say about the area change and how whatever you get in the gameplay affects the clock. Um, very nice. I know there's a secret exit on this one. This one is busy in the air. Let me trust you, if you have a cape and a blue shell, this stage is a breeze. fact, I think to get the exit where after, I actually need a blue shell. You can go up here and get something else, get like a special bonus coins for like a 1-up or something if you're lucky enough. 
Like, which I was! Yeah, hey. It's just clouds down there, so uh, don't worry about falling. Ah, new enemy, Fuzzy. Is he a new enemy, or have we already met Fuzzy? I forget! I forget how to human. Oh, it's a box up there with a cape. Uh, I want. I just killed Yoshi. I killed Yoshi. And I need Yoshi. <laughs> Why do I need Yoshi? Because I don't have a cape, I can't do the running flying! Crap! I need this cape, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to nick your shell. Hope Fuzzy isn't going to be an ass. It's one of those type enemies, so he probably is. Come on, feather. Come on down. I need to fly. This gold gate up there's a gold gate up there. I'll show you. It's a red herring. Literally. If you want to complete this stage normally, do not go for that gold gate. We could go for that goal gate, but it's a red herring. We do not want that goal gate. What we want is this goal gate. These are all one ups. We have plenty of time to show you. This is the goal gate you want if you want to progress. The other one will just spin you in a circle. Chocolate Fortress. Do we have time? Yeah, if the falls we can fight some more. Resnor! Have I not said Resnor enough? It's the pantry. Should have duck, but there's a cape in this, I don't care. Ah, you stupid dragon! Eep up, oop, eep up. Stop! Spinning! Fire! Die, dragon, die. Give the key! Ah! Nyeh! Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Leave me capeless and defenseless. Okay, pass you with swamps. Swamps suck. Not you, Thwim. Piss off, Thwim. Move it, Thwomp. Give me the cape. In the cape. Good, good, good. Doing as we're told. Ha ha ha, the slow. I hope you enjoy your new light and your new box stop life, Thwim. Good, good. Fucking Thwim. Move it! You little blocky asshole. Just do that. You can. Shift him. You can also shift him. You're screwed in there. So are you. Get an extra K. Good, 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 good. Rest no more! Ah. No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hop. 
I'm surprised that fireball didn't hurt me, you know. <laughs> Chocolate Island 4, which is quite linear. You know what? I'm going to squeeze this in. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> This one, it has only one exit, but it takes forever to find it. Over here, what I like to know is the fact that we have all of the switches. You could just simply drop down here and boom, th three one-ups. Up, 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 um, need a key, not an actual P, I need a P switch. I should have chosen my words carefully. <laughs> Scroll up level. I need a P switch. No, I don't. Um, what was I thinking of? For so that, Chuck can die. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, track line of five, which we'll head up in the next episode. So in the next episode, we'll be finishing track line, guys. Later.